The moon was so bright, it melted the walls away. And it wasn't alarming when I saw Prince Charming come into my bedroom and say, Let me persuade you to come to the place where tomorrow meets today. Thank you. It sounds very exciting. May I come just as I am? And last of all, designed for the electronic highway of the future, the fabulous turbine-powered Firebird 2. <laughs> take off on the highway of tomorrow. Stand by. This story started in Hollywood. We had heard about a lot, gathered up supplies, and kept on flying south and east, along the mountain ranges of the Cordilleras. We had talked with City and had learned that the Indians we had heard of lived in the unexplored jungles beyond Via Hermosa and Tenosique. Explorers had gone into these jungles only a few times, looking for mahogany and chicle. We flew to a village called Awa Asul. If we tried to go through the jungle, the trip would have taken weeks. But here was the beginning of what we had come to see. We were on the Awa Asul River, a bunch of the Yusumacinta. This is a village of the Lacandon and direct descendants of the ancient Mayas. And according to legend, when the Spaniards conquered Mexico over 400 years ago, the Lacandones were never conquered but they were forced to move deep into the jungles, and there they have remained ever since. We made friends with the Lacandones and asked if we could live among them. They offered to take us into the deepest part of the jungle, where few outsiders have ever been, and where we could see how the Lacandone lived, not as a tribe, but as single families scattered throughout the jungle. We were going only about 40 miles, but 40 miles in the jungle is a long, long way. Sometimes we had to cross the same stream a dozen times. The days were hot and muggy, the nights cold. In the daytime, we were bitten by black flies and at night by mosquitoes. We cut our way with machetes in the dark high forest between trees ranging up to 150 feet high. There was light enough for photography only at river crossings. But finally we came to an old road. We were armed with guns and one of us with bow and arrows since he was a champion with that weapon. 
We had to keep constant watch for snakes. The seven-foot fer de lance, the 12-foot nyoka, the 20-foot constrictors. There were many birds, common ones like the woodpecker, and many familiar trees and plants, such as the sensitive mimosa, which closes its leaves when it's disturbed. But we were also getting acquainted with birds, trees, and animals that were strange to us. Eagles, macaws, parakeets, mahogany, ebony, ironwood, jaguars, tapirs, ocelot. Even though part of the trip was along the old road, the 40 miles we had to go took three days. We had to cut clearings at night to make camp, and we had our share of jungle rain. When at last we reached a Lacandone clearing, friends who had gone ahead welcomed us. Here was the lost tribe that had disappeared into the jungle four centuries ago. Here were the Maya Indians living exactly as their ancestors had, even dressed like their ancestors in long cotton wheepeels. They were very friendly and very curious about us. Jose Pepe, for instance, wanted to see if he could shoot straighter with our bow than with his own. But birds, including parrots, know how to dodge. Jose Pepe's name in Maya is Jota. The Lacandones use both Spanish and Maya names. We were glad to have Jose Pepe try our bow, but we were curious too. The bow and arrow was the principal weapon of the old Mayas, and we found that the Lacandones still depend upon it in hunting for a considerable share of their food birds, monkeys, and deer. The bows are made of a hard wood, lignum vitae. The arrows are of a light wood. The feathers are partridge or uh, pheasant feathers. The Lacandones use different types of arrows according to the game they find. Wooden-tipped arrows for birds and small game, and stone-tipped arrows for big games. Our boots interested Jose Pepe because the Lacandones go barefoot through the jungle, where boots would give some protection from small snakes. Small, but very deadly. how frustrating it can be when you can't find a direct and detailed answer. It seems like nobody understands what you're going through. So if you don't find exactly what you need, then don't worry. Simply contact our friendly team. We'll fulfill your requirements and explain the options and how we work.
we promise that we'll maintain the highest level of customer care and commitment. All of our work is carried out to assured standards and we'll complete everything efficiently, leaving you with great results. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is waiting to solve your unique requirements. So please, don't hesitate to contact us. Let us prove our commitment to your satisfaction. We're here to help, so contact us today.